Not too many shows have made an impact on their audiences quite like the online production called The Chosen. Many have discussed the high technical quality of the production, along with the depictions of biblical figures that are perceived as relatable to a modern audience. While this is not a review of the content, Christians should not let their guard down because the show is entertaining. Here's a few reasons why you should not watch this web series. The lead star Jonathan Rumi has captivated many people to seeing him as an image of Christ, as with any performance that aims to portray Jesus all the while burning an image in your mind that this is what Jesus looked like, in part idolizing the man portraying him. Rumi, however, doesn't seem to care about what is biblical, as presented in his own beliefs and associations. He was knighted by the Templar Order of Jerusalem, which the association of the order that was disbanded for its worship of Baphomet should definitely be alarming as it is also a branch of the secret fraternity of Freemasonry. Jonathan is good friends with the New Age advocate and celebrity Russell Brand, and has attended his seminar with David Lynch on Transcendental Meditation. The actor is also a Roman Catholic that has devoted himself to the false doctrines of the quotations, Mother Church, while meeting figures like the alleged Vicar of Christ, the Pope, to bless his rosary beads. A huge part of the show's production is the involvement of those from the religion of Mormonism. While the show owner, Dallas Jenkins, is a quotations professing Protestant, although I don't see him doing a lot of protesting, Jenkins has been on podcasts with Mormons calling them brothers and sisters in the faith and worshipping the same Jesus. The publicly shared stock holding company is run by Daryl Eves, CEO, 25% shareholder, practicing Mormon. Ricky Ray Butler, owner of Ben Entertainment changed his company logo to Pride Colors in June 2021, which a Bible believer would not do. Adam Serlow, Chief Operations Officer, 19% shareholder, is an atheist. Finally, Angel Studios is owned by Neil Harmon, who is a Mormon. The very idea of having people pretend to be biblical figures should stir up mixed feelings in any Christian. The Old Testament's second of the Ten Commandments is against graven images, which are venerated depictions and religious idolatry, a practice that Catholicism repeatedly employs in place of sound doctrine while removing the commandment altogether in their catechism. The issue becomes that many professing Christians use this as a substitute and an alternative for actually reading the Bible, leaving them open to the influences of the television writers rather than the influence of the inspired scriptures. 1 John 5 verse 21 Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen.